Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhaira Pagka and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning. It helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Okay, that sounded like, okay, the screen loaded late. Mm, D4 my opponent, I'll play C6. D5, the Karukan defends. Okay, I can just turn up my bishop here, eyeing the diagonal towards the queen side. Um, and then close the pawn chain. It's important to take out the bishop first, otherwise it becomes a liability at the end. Um, taking is one of the things, but why to take when opponent hasn't even developed his pieces. Just offering exchange there, which he denies, and so do I. Just trying the right diagonal with my battery now. Um, okay, can just kick this thing away. I can play pawn forward too, and then maybe take as well. I should take, spoil the pawn structure at least. Uh, can pin the knight is one way, which then you can easily remove as well. So I think I should then develop the knight. Maybe try and go to e4 next. Oh, takes on the pawn. I should have pinned. I ah, missed it. Anyways, I can't take now. No, I can't. So what do we do about it? Connect, prepare into castle, connecting both the knights there. Nice move by the opponent. I can pin this one now, at least. Or oh, let's castle. Ah, oh, he's waiting for me to castle because he gets to take on this pawn and then fork my rooks too. Okay, let me go here at least first. Okay, what is the bishop doing there? I'm not sure. I'll go here with my knight. He can take, I take back. He takes, and then I cast. Oh, takes with the knight instead. No, it's also fine. I'll take this first. And then I would like to maintain the pin and attack his bishop with my knight. Queen can come here as well. Let's play pawn forward. Always solidifying the bishop. Maybe preparing to cast on the queen side now. So I'll go here. Not letting him castle straight away. He still castles. Okay. That's brave of him, I would say. I'll take the pawn. You can give a check. Yes, I can. Let's do it. Comes up. I can give another check. Or I can give a check with the bishop too. Bishop. Let's give it the bishop. If bishop backwards, I give a check from here. Is one possibility. Mm, this is interesting. Check again. Maybe he goes back now over here uh, instead to the wrong place. Give another check. Another one. He should go here to safeguard or oh, doesn't. Um, should I take? No, I doubt. I'll just pin it. Have this check as well if my bishop was there only. Okay, attacks the queen. I'll go here trying to take on the pawn next. 
opponent can save by moving his king anywhere yes um this will not work i should play pawn forward once trying to stop his attack because he can double up as well here some point of time attacks with the bishop instead i have this retrieval square ready so not an issue expanding the pawns towards the king is not really a good option knight is also active now so he defends should i play pawn forward i should this king is in front of the queen so why not side steps now i can't take here because my rook is hanging otherwise i think i should just place rook up connecting both them both of them castling was not the right way i think okay i have this which looks nice to me already that's a fork time is one factor here already goes back i'll take the rook he takes back with this rook no doesn't that's interesting i'll take with the rook and oh his bishop is there just for a moment i thought i can just nail him but yeah, anyways i will eventually sidesteps the thread but not completely and not for longer for sure um doesn't win me anything maybe i'll go here trying to play pawn forward next oh, where's he going i don't know i just attack the bishop for now which goes back now his knight can be used and i don't want that to be used so i'll take it out of the game maybe or i should wait i should probably wait and give a check or attack the bishop where's the bishop going oh there's a check coming but then i can sidestep it not a problem not a problem you want to exchange queens please go ahead i am in the advantage i won't mind that So it goes away. Preparing a check, maybe. I'll try to exchange queens again. Maybe flip on forward. Or double up. Or go here. And bishop can help. Bishop can always help. Check. Queen goes. And I said that always helps. Double up. Tries to save the pawn. That's not going to happen any day. I'll go here. Takes. That's a passer. Check. Check. Take this. Pre move. Wait, this can be made quick. And that's made. Thank you very much. As I said, it's not gonna help. That's the second time I've beaten this opponent. Let's analyze the game com from computer perspective. So I'll be d4, f8, c6, bishop on f4, d5 by me. The opponent was playing the London system setup. Um, and that's how you play Karo Khan against it. Just trying to exchange bishops, which he denies. Queen c7 by there. Uh, and then playing pawn forward. Opponent goes back. 
and I just tried to chase that bishop and then took it eventually. And then knight on f6 was a bad move because he can take on the pawn. Next time I should just pin the knight first. And he takes, and then I go with knight on d7. Again, I was thinking to castle, which would have been a blunder because, yeah, then I fall for this. That's why his rook was not moving from there. And therefore, I didn't castle. I just tried to pin the knight there and then exchange stuff. He takes back with the bishop. Open is three points ahead in this already by now. And this can be very much winning at times. So I just went with knight to f6 here, trying to read out my pieces better, then play pawn forward. Open gets the queen on to e2, and then I get my queen on a5. My opponent was preparing to castle and still does. So I take on the pawn. Still my opponent is an advantage. So that's how I can tell about position of my opponent here. Then bishop attacks the queen. I give a check, trying to read out, then check with the bishop. And then a check with the queen. He goes down again. A check, I'm trying to repeat there, uh, trying to make some mis let him make some mistake. And then he attacks my queen. I go with queen on b4. Opponent goes to queen, uh, the king to c1. I defend the pawn there. And then a6 was important for me. Just wanted to make sure that there is no point of time the rook gets doubled up here and tries to take on the a7. So I played a6 first and then. Opponent attacks me with the bishop. I go with queen to b6. Still advantage to the opponent. As I said, most of the point of the game, my opponent was an advantage. Then I tried to break open the pawn structure from there. And this is where my opponent starts to lose uh, after the king move. He should actually attack my knight, but he doesn't. I play pawn forward. And then I, this was again a cautious call because uh you can of course cancel but this canceling doesn't make sense your king will be wide open uh, it can my opponent can some point of time just exchange this bishop for a knight and then take the pawn and then attack from here as well so i thought either i'll just place my king up and that was good enough and then my opponent does the blunder in the game the first big mistake by playing queen to d3 which leads into a folk that's the advantage of keeping your knight centralized always and then I took on the rook. He takes back the pawn here instead of hanging that. And then I take with the rook. And then he takes my knight. And then I doubled up, which was the right move to open. Tries to safeguard that. I got my queen backwards. The idea was to just play pawn forward and push his bishop backwards. That's what happens. And here I took on the bishop. Uh, computer searching, I can play pawn forward. Yes, I can. But I thought I'll take the bishop anyway because I can sidestep the problems, whatever I have. And then, uh, oh, I have this queen check. Lovely. That's a lovely check. And then I get to have the access as well of the other files. Yep, that's an interesting idea. Uh, what's the best move here for the opponent? Play pawn forward. I doubt that would have happened. If it would have gone down, then it's mate. I can do mate with queen. Okay, um, but I tried to exchange the queens, which he denies, of course, and then loses the queen because I had bishop there, always lying. Um, and then I left the pawn, I didn't, I was just trying to attack there, trying to mate him up with 18 seconds on the clock uh, against 1 minute 51 seconds. So I had to just play some quick moves there. I played pawn forward, which traps my rook as well, and he does take. I take back with the pawn instead. Tries to safeguard, and then I played queen to e5, e4 there. Opponent goes back. I give a check with the rook. Oh, I can take this pawn as well. <laughs> Instead, I took the other one. But yeah, that was more simpler. That's mate in one anyway, and he cannot deny that. So yeah, that was mate. So centralized bishop and knight. More of centralized knight did the trick there, trying to maintain that pressure and then eventually landed a folk, if you remember correctly, there in the game. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback and keep watching and sharing. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.